U.S. Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff Admiral Mike Mullen arrived on Sunday in Kabul on an announced visit to Afghanistan. While speaking to journalists, he said the border region between Pakistan and Afghanistan is still the epicenter of terrorism. Pakistan still is home to uh, many, many terrorists. Uh, uh, they're home to, uh, to the headquarters of al-Qaeda, who still uh, is a, an organization that plots to kill as many Americans as they possibly can. It's, the, it's home to other ter terrorist organizations like uh, LET, uh, obviously the Haqqani Network, uh, and clearly those uh, yeah, who live in Quetta who, can, who come here to, uh, to uh, uh, essentially with the goal of overturning the government uh, of Afghanistan. During his three-day visit to Afghanistan, Admiral Mullen also met with commanders and troops in southern and eastern Afghanistan. Mr. Mullen's tour occurred as the violence has increased in various regions of the country, particularly in southern regions. He offered assurance that allied and local security forces would continue to push insurgents into retreat. We recognize the challenges that are posed by some of the recent spectacular attacks and assassinations. We are doing all we can with the Afghan security forces to prevent those in the future. Um, we see a situation where many of the Taliban leaders have either been taken off the battlefield or uh, have returned to the safe havens in Pakistan. We see weakness in some of in, in the uh, Taliban tactics in some areas. But the Taliban are continuing to carry out first attacks against the NATO and Afghan security forces and civilians. On the second day of Mullen's visit to Afghanistan, a suicide bomber blew himself up at the gate of the police headquarters in the southern city of Lashkargar. Twelve police officers and one boy were killed, and twelve others were wounded in a city where Afghans have recently taken control of security. Assessing the overall mission, Admiral Mullen said that President Obama's announcement to begin withdrawing the 33,000 troops could be carried out without putting the mission at risk. 10,000 American soldiers are scheduled to leave the country by the end of the year. With the month of the Ramadan starting in the heat of the summer, Mullen avoided prediction on the actions of the militant group during Islamic Holy Month. Predicting what's going to happen next month, uh, I honestly don't know. Um, and, uh, and, and we'll have to see. I have no idea whether, whether uh, violence or uh, attacks will go up or down. Uh, this is expected to be the Admiral's last visit to Afghanistan before he retires in two months. Alessandro Pavone in Kabul, Afghanistan, for the NATO Channel.